Some people call it the invisible illness. It cannot be seen, but it can be felt. It can always be felt. I was fed up. I set out to do the impossible. I was my own experiment. I found the tools to fix my root cause. And now I'm giving you these tools so that you can get your health back. You can get your life back. We have Isabella Wentz, Dr. Isabella Wentz. She is the thyroid pharmacist and the author of the New York Times best-selling book, Hashimoto's Thyroiditis, The Root Cause. Isabella, welcome to the program. Hey Krista, it's so great to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, I'm so happy to have you live in studio because mm -hmm. so many people struggle with their thyroid and many of them don't know about it. And I think that's your story, right? Absolutely. So I struggled with thyroid disease for almost a decade before I was properly diagnosed. And I didn't know what was going on with me. I was losing my hair. I was constantly fatigued, sleeping for 12 hours to feel energized. 12 hours a day you 12 to hours each night. So mm -hmm. as you can imagine, most of my early 20s were spent sleeping. Mm -hmm. um, I began to have carpal tunnel in both arms. Mm -hmm. I had to wear arm braces just to, to be able to complete my work day. I had no idea. So, and this is why we have the Randy and Krista show is to help bring these things to light so people don't lose their 20s like you did. Absolutely. And, and it was um, one of those things that I kept going from doctor to doctor. Mm -hmm. And they suggested that maybe I was getting older. I was 25 at the time. <laughs> You're 25. It's all downhill from here. Right, right. <laughs> or maybe that I was too stressed out or mm -hmm. that it was all in my head. Mm -hmm. And so typically women are not getting, getting the answers they need from their doctors. And so I'm really, really excited that you've had me here, that you have me here today so we can talk about this. Absolutely. Okay. So you know, for people who don't know what the thyroid is, what it affects within the body, give us the cliff notes about the thyroid and why it's really the most important gland. Sure, of course. So the thyroid gland is a very tiny gland that lives at the base of our neck and it looks like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. um, what it does in very simple terms is it basically helps to impact our metabolism. So it makes things happen in the body. Um, there are thyroid receptors in every single cell in the body. So uh, we're going to get into thyroid symptoms in a little bit, but they're very nonspecific because thyroid hormones affect every single cell in the body. Mm -hmm. And when I like to think of the thyroid gland, it basically creates energy and moves things along in our body. Mm -hmm. So it controls the pace of your digestion. It controls, it's your internal thermostat. It really controls so much of our experience of life. Okay, so now there are different types of thyroid issues that can occur. Why don't you go ahead and list the different types of thyroid issues that you've seen that people have? So one of the most common thyroid conditions, and this is probably the issue that majority of people are going to struggle with if they have a thyroid condition, is going to be hypothyroidism or an underactive thyroid. Mm -hmm. um, and I like to think of it as basically slowing down. So you're going to be more tired. Mm -hmm. You're going to be um, more brain fogged. Your hair may start falling out. You're going to be um, sluggish and you may have the potential to gain weight. So you may be somebody that is eating the same type of diet you were eating and you're doing the same, exam same amount of exercise that you have been doing, but yet you're going to be putting on weight mm -hmm. month after month after month if your thyroid is not properly regulated. with thyroid issues, they may feel anxious. That can be a sign of an overactive thyroid. Mm -hmm. And sometimes at the beginning stages of an underactive thyroid, you'll see that happening. Yeah. They may be depressed. They may have trouble with motivation. Mm. And they just may not feel very motivated. And they may have yeah. brain fog. Yes. Well, we talk about that all the time with chemo. Yes. Chemo brain. Well, there's thyroid brain, right? hypothyroid brain. Absolutely. Where you, you're just having problems like finding a word or remembering somebody's name, some simple thing like that, right? Mm -hmm, exactly. And then anxiety is a very common thing where mm -hmm. somebody will have new onset anxiety. So um, I like to tell a story when I used to be, when I was, before I was diagnosed, I was really anxious and my husband would go out running and he'd say, I'll be back in 20 minutes and 25 minutes would pass. And I'd be like, Hey, where is he? What happened? Did he get hit by a car? Did, you know, did he fall off the side of the cliff or, you know, did he run off with another woman in the last yeah. 20 minutes? And it just wasn't <laughs> rational. Please. <laughs> no, but, but what I, but I bet a lot of women are just 
you know, um, diagnosed with anxiety. Anxiety. And they're take a Xanax. Take a Xanax or take a Vitamin Prozac. X, here you go. Put the right to prescription, Someti right? Sometimes even things like Seroquel. They're given, you know, heavy duty antipsychotic medications. Mm -mm. And so that's a really important symptom. Anytime somebody has new onset mental health issues, I highly recommend getting your thyroid function tested because um, early stages of Hashimoto's can resemble panic attacks, they can resemble anxiety disorders, they can um, resemble obsessive compulsive disorder, um, bipolar disorder, and I've even seen some people who were hospitalized for psychotic disorders. And it's basically, when you think about the thyroid, it can stimulate you, it can make you really anxious and irritable like when you have too much of it, manic. So that's a, something that I really, really recommend for people to do whenever they're struggling, have family members or friends. Sometimes it could be a thyroid problem, not a mental health problem. I'm Dr. Isabella Wentz. I'm a pharmacist, researcher, author, and thyroid patient advocate. Turning my health around and reversing my autoimmune thyroid condition was one of the most rewarding and humbling experiences of my life. I can't describe the happiness I felt when after almost a decade of debilitating fatigue, I awoke with newfound energy. All of this happened because I made a commitment to my health and decided to learn everything I possibly could about my thyroid condition, known as Hashimoto's thyroiditis. I made myself a bit of a human guinea pig and uncovered what was causing my condition and how to reverse it. My life was changed forever through the things I learned. And so I began to share my story and my research with other people who were struggling with thyroid disease. It was so gratifying to see complete health recoveries in people who had been struggling for decades. Sharing this truth became my life's mission. The truth is that the protocols I used to reverse my condition were not taught to me by my local doctor. You know, I felt like I was the code that nobody could crack, the mystery that nobody understood. And I wanted to be understood, and I wanted to be heard, but I wasn't told the answers from the sources of authority I thought I would hear them from. I'm really impressed with you because you question the status quo, and a lot of times people, they go to one doctor and this one doctor tells them, something and it's like gospel and there's no way that you can argue it or refute it and you just kind of give up on yourself and you listen to this other person who has wonderful phenomenal training but they're not you and it's almost like you let that person stand in the way of your own healing because you take their opinion on your body rather than listening to your own body what made you decide to listen to your own body what like what, what drove you to do that i don't know i once had somebody tell me i'm that i'm like we did this thing where we had to introduce the, all these new people in a group setting and talk to talk to this person and then she introduced me as Deanna's a person who likes to go against the grain. Yes. <laughs> and i never thought of myself that way but i think i do i question everything i i just have always questioned everything and so I and I research everything I research everything about by any health thing I have and I'm so glad we have the internet now yes. I don't have to go to the science library and <laughs> come out go to the doctor with my list of thyroid symptoms and say see this is me but it's that's just me my personality I love that so I like to think of people like um, like you and me and 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 hopefully the viewers watching as root cause rebels because we don't listen to the status quo. We really advocate for ourselves and we try to get different results than everybody else gets because let's face it, if you're doing exactly what everybody else is doing, then you're gonna have the same results. So it's, it's, it's a system, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It's like one plus one is two. And so we really do need to go against the grain to get our health back and to start moving towards wellness. Mm -hmm.